All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us again today. My name is Hunter Willis, and we've got the June product updates with Appio's Feature Feature. Of course, Feature Feature is our series on what's new, what's happening, what's coming, and what's going on with everything having to do with Appio's products. And this month, we are focusing on our cloud updates for H1 2023. So about halfway through the year and towards the end of the year, we like to focus on some of the larger innovations and updates that we've had for our products halfway through and again at the end of the year. So today we're going to be going through the major announcements for our cloud updates. Uh, some of these we've touched on them before. Some of them are brand new and some of them are still to come a little bit. So we're going to jump right into this here. But first, just want to talk about how much FinOps has become so influential throughout the industry and how needed it is, right? That need is really, really increasing. People are understanding how much it brings value, right? So FinOps is being talked about by IDC, Accenture here. We just have these examples, but you all know there's been so many more blog posts, right? So much more information. The federal government is working on standards for it, right? And it's becoming more and more for all the large service providers providers the recommended way to bring value to the cloud to control costs to get more for less etc cetera, etc cetera, right it can be unlocked by advancing FinOps right so even for organizations that have kind of got their toes wet or in what we call the crawl phase of FinOps they can start to mature that practice get to that walking and then running phase of FinOps there's always more that you can do there's always more ways that you can operationalize cost savings and efficiencies into your cloud program and we are working really hard with our cloudability platform to make that a reality for our customers now again we have always aligned right to those phases of operation for FinOps that operate optimize and inform phase of FinOps but we're gonna touch here on how we are advancing those phases with our capabilities for our customers and we've kind of broken those innovations, that improvement, right? Those updates into different categories here. We've got um, more improvement for multi-cloud optimization, cloud planning, and new expansion capabilities for cloud abilities. So let's start off by talking about multi-cloud optimization, right? So we've brought uh, the CUD purchase recommendations for GCP VMs, CUD recommendations as we call them, right? Increasing that ability for committed spend coverage in the Google Cloud, right? This is um, having the ability to analyze and make specific recommendations for CUD purchases in GCP. So this is really helping customers reduce those hourly rates, right? Maximizing the value they're getting out of their Google Cloud investments. Nextly, we're gonna talk about our Azure Savings Plan portfolio and recommendations. We've had AWS Savings Plan recommendations, actual proactive recommendations for savings plan purchases in AWS and now we have those for Azure as well. So again, really extending that capability for helping customers get a higher coverage of committed spend with proactive recommendations for those purchases, not just kind of showing you where you are. We've had that portfolio reporting for a while um, in Cloudability, but now again, we're surfacing those proactive recommendations so you can get that aggregated view of the own savings plans and also keep track of how much value, um, not just Cloudability is bringing to your cloud program, but how much more value you're able to extract from your Azure Cloud investments. Now we're also uh, bringing right sizing for GCP managed instance groups, right? So this one's hot off the presses. This is a very recent update here. And just like we support auto scaling groups in AWS, we've now got that same kind of coverage for GCP managed instance groups, specifically, um, you know, including recommendations with the option to adjust the hourly VM count or the machine type, as it's mentioned here, right? And making informed cost performance trade off with interactive charts, protected utilization. Cloudability gives you a lot of ways to analyze that information and make those informed decisions. Always very important, again, when you're looking at uh, the, those right sizing capabilities. Now, when it comes to cloud planning, we've got AWS resource inventory reporting, right? So we're providing the ability to have your record keeping within Cloudability, but also surfacing so many more details about the resources that you have in AWS there. So this is something that we've been working on for a long time. And again, this one's hot off the presses. So a really, really recent update here, but definitely being able to, again, surface a lot more details about those uh, the, the resources in AWS, as well as being, um, you know, a source of truth for a record keeping for the resources that you've had as an organization. Also, workload planning, the Cloudability workload planning feature is in beta now, where you can model your plan costs, you know, accurately 
estimate costs across cloud providers and centralize that collaboration by being able to share workloads, copy workloads and doing cost estimates, right? And checking out variants to plans by being able to do that. Also, uh, our last feature feature, we, we did have a great conversation with Celine Plichta on this and definitely check out for our existing customers again the uh, in the appio community there's actually a demo of this in there so go check that out in the appio community under the cloud ability section and then also the cloud ability financial planning okay so this is in beta now so it's um accessible to our customers that sign up for this because it is going to be a separate solution here when it goes ga so it will be a paid add-on to cloud ability but it's really bringing a whole new set of planning features for cloud to cloud ability and instead of just hey saying like look let's let's look at that um, the past aggregate data of the the virtual machines kind of analyzing patterns for resources and services that we've had in the cloud and then kind of doing that projected cost spend based on the past you can really add cost drivers right plan for certain events and adjust uh, potential forecasts based on uh, you know different expected results that you may have right so you can really also streamline collaboration with workflows and have uh, multiple plans so you can track uh, you know different outcomes uh, compare different outcomes for your plans and the biggest thing is that when it comes to GA you'll be able to track spend to plan as well and understand what's causing the variance from your plans to hold your teams accountable right so that accountability governance portion of this is really really big so definitely check that out if you're an existing customer and if you don't have cloud ability yet and you're just kind of trying to figure out what's going on with the solution and everything that it does or what it's going to be able to do definitely give us a call have some conversations um, and we'd be happy to show you a demo of that but again that is um, in its current state only available for our existing customers as part of a beta and that GA is going to be coming later on this year so stay tuned for that now when it comes to new expansion we have support for Red Hat OpenShift in our container section here right so Red Hat OpenShift grows the support for AWS this is automatically mapping all those cloud resources to each Rosa cluster. So it's kind of bringing um, an additional supportive feature into our containers interface inside of CloudAbility. So that's really big news and it's definitely been a um, you know, highly requested feature from a lot of our customers. We also have CloudAbility savings automation, right? That ability to automate your committed spend purchases. So this has been huge and the efficiency that we're getting out of this is amazing. So definitely, if you're interested in this, not just it's not just about i want to emphasize this right it's not just about making things more efficient and saving time right it's also about you know largely reducing that human error in there but the engine behind this and the way that it's calculating those purchases is driving extra efficiency right so it's doing um some amazing calculations and interacting uh with you know those those capabilities to drive extra value from what you would get from a normal coverage of committed spend so definitely worth a conversation if you're interested in that but we're very very excited about what that's brought to the table for appio's portfolio here now we also want to announce of course we've talked about this a bit this year but cloudability government we've got um the fed ramp authorized solution for FinOps for our federal government customers and we've already seen a lot of interest in this and it's an, and again it's an alignment with standards and practices that are coming to our federal agencies that we work with so you know again we've already seen a lot of traction with this and people are getting value out of this all over the place so really really excited to see what that has in store for the rest of the year and into next year as that FinOps story grows and expands so again we have this information. If you're interested in more details about the things I talked on today, we have a blog post kind of spelling it out, diving into more some de some more details on this. We also had a press release earlier um, that got spread out. So for, check that out. Look for it on social media as well. And again, as always, this video will be posted over onto YouTube afterwards. So please, if you have any questions, comment, like, and share the content here. Go over to YouTube, check that out. Ask any questions over there as well. We're going to be posting some links there too after it. It's, uh, it goes live, so go on over there, check that out. We'll post a link to the blog up there too. And as always, for our typical product updates where you can find those on a regular basis, we always, uh, almost always publish that information in the Aptio community, but it's always available in our help center up on the, uh, the about section. The first um, segment under the about whatever product you're looking at is the what's new. 
And so definitely pop over to the help center, check that out. And you can head over to the Aptio community to see, you know, we, again, we're posting more videos, more content there, more in-depth interactive kind of content. And we also always try to respond if you have questions there, but you also can like share the content that you see here online. We try to respond to that as well. And if you haven't yet, head on over to YouTube, check out our past FinOps Fridays episodes, Amplify Agile episodes, and past episodes of the feature feature. Stay tuned for new episodes of all of those as well. Nate Besh and FinOps Fridays and Kiera Zapanta on Amplify Agile. Those are more of a podcast format with a deep dive and with conversations with great takeaways, you know, really nuts and bolts uh, processes from the people that they're talking with that you can see what's going on, how other folks are implementing these practices, the successes they've had, pitfalls they've avoided, etc. So again, we really appreciate it when you like and share our content. Comment down below if you have any questions or comments. We hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching the feature feature.